there's two moments that are decisive in the initial experience of the Kurds of Iraq. One is in the aftermath of the comprehensive defeat of the Ottoman Empire. The Allied powers at the Treaty of Sevres imposed a radical settlement which partitioned the Ottoman Empire. And it was envisaged that a huge swathe of Southeast Turkey, Turkish Kurdistan, would join together with the Mosul Vidyat, or province, of the Ottoman Empire, which um, today would be described, at least by Turks, as northern Iraq, but is fundamentally Iraqi Kurdistan. So there was a promise of an independent state. The idea of the great powers that were interested in having that state, uh, namely the British and, to a lesser extent, the French, was to have a buffer state between the rump Ottoman Empire, the Soviet Union, um, and the Arab states to the south. Turkey recovered under Kemal and successfully expelled the Western powers. It repudiated the Treaty of Sevres, and in the Treaty of Lausanne, the current borders of Turkey were broadly defined though the border with Iraq would not be consolidated with the League of Nations until 1926. The British decided in the aftermath of Kemal Ataturk's rise to abandon any plans to support an independent Kurdistan. And instead, they argued with Kurdish elites that they would create an autonomous Kurdistan within Iraq, a, a promise that they fundamentally betrayed, though in some respects, uh, they did preserve the distinct identity of Kurdistan and Iraq. They did enable a small amount of administration to be conducted in Kurdish. They did not at that juncture interfere with the traditional dominance of traditional Kurdish notables. So if you like, it can be portrayed as a classic version of British indirect rule in which traditional elites were preserved, the British uh, governed the relevant area, and they didn't, in any deep sense, integrate it fully into the rest of the rank. There's a, a famous saying by the grandfather of a Kurdish filmmaker called Hinir Salim. And he quotes his grandfather as saying, Our past is sad. Our present is catastrophic. Fortunately, we don't have a future. Now, no one in Kurdistan would talk that way today. With um, examples such as Halabja, uh, it's important to stress just how important they are in the psyche, in the national psyche of Kurds in general, but of Kurds in Iraq in particular. Uh, in the 1980s was a particular period of brutal suffering for the Kurds in Iraq, and Halabja, where 5,000 people died, in one day in 1988, um, symbolizes for many Kurds all of that suffering. Um, so it of, it of course has colored how the Kurds view themselves in the new Iraq, in the post Saddam environment. Um, so I, I, I think they've gone into uh, the, the post-2003 situation with the understanding amongst the political leadership that they would never allow um, what had happened to them in the, in the past to happen to them again which then explains why they were so determined to get various veto powers to have such a stake in, in, in the politics of Baghdad uh, in understanding the design and the future of the Iraqi military, for example. Um, but it is there as a, a constant shadow uh, over, over the Kurdish experience in Iraq, uh, and it's going to be interesting to see whether the Iraqi state itself recognises these, these symbols and, and these uh, these facts that are, that are turned into myths of nationalism now within Kurdistan uh, and, and how the Iraqi government itself manages these things in the future. They've seen an utterly remarkable transformation. Uh, at the end of the 1980s, they were subjected, undoubtedly, in my judgment, to genocide. The deliberate intent of the state to exterminate part of the population and to encourage the rest of the population to flee. That Nadir has been succeeded by a form of restricted self-government 
in uh, borders that were determined by Saddam. He withdrew from uh, trying to govern the entirety of Kurdistan. He arbitrarily established what is the current boundary of the Kurdistan regional government. They were deprived of access to economic resources from Baghdad. Uh, they didn't get their appropriate share of Iraq's oil revenues. They were subjected to double sanctions. They had sanctions by the United Nations on Iraq as a whole and sanctions by Baghdad against Kurdistan, which were eventually partially relieved during the Oil for Food program in which Kurdistan received some of the monies that it might otherwise have been entitled to had it been treated properly as part of Iraq. So they had a grim early 90s economically, but the first beginnings of political self-government. The Kurdistan region of Iraq uh after the uprising of 1991, uh, after the withdrawal of the administration of the central government then, was left in a legal and a administrative vacuum. Therefore, the Kurdistan Front political leadership called for a, an election in this region or in this part of Iraq so that we organize our political life and the administration in this region. So in May 1992, there was general election to elect a regional parliament, Kurdistan National Assembly, and afterward to form the Kurdistan Regional Government. The first cabinet was established then. Uh, so there is a coalition of political parties uh, in the Kurdistan Regional Government cabinet to run the administration. Since 1992, we have worked uh, through difficult uh, circumstances, living in a tough neighborhood, facing a lot of challenges, no proper budget, uh, not that much international community support apart from a limited number of NGOs who have come to help us. And uh, we inherited 4,500 villages being destroyed in Kurdistan region. Uh, we were facing the social problems of dealing with the families of the victims of Anfal, which is a process, a notorious Anfal operation the name has been taken from Quran, uh, and also we have to deal with the problems for these families. Uh, 182,000 people have been missing in these operations. Then the chemical gassing of Halabcha, Sheikh Wasan, Balisan, and Badinan area. Uh, added to that, the other disappearances of uh, over 10,000 Faili Kurds and the disappearance of 8,000 Barzanis. So these were all problems, apart from the physical problems that we had to rebuild the villages, reactivate the agriculture and the other sectors of the economy, but still there were other social problems that we had to deal with. Uh, Kurdistan regional government was able to uh, take some steps in order to have the rule of law. We started with organizing the police, the traffic police, focusing on education and health, municipality services. We don't claim that what we have right now is a perfect model because there are still challenges and there is still a long way to go. Political self-government got off to a good start with free and fair elections. The two major parties came very close to one another in the popular vote, the KDP just surpassing the PUK, that's the Kurdistan Democratic Party, just slightly beat the Patriotic Union of Kurdistan. Unfortunately, um, interaction between the parties' cadres on the grounds, disputes over revenues at the border, led to a short, sharp, and rather severe internal civil war in which both parties were manipulated by the regional powers um, and by Iraq. Uh, it ended up with one party being supported by Iran and another party being supported by Iraq. That grim horror ended in the late 1990s, partly as a result of American mediation. And by the beginning of this century, Kurdistan and Iraq was unified with a common parliament that uh, continued to sit, but it had two separate administrations, one in Erbil and one in Suleimania. If you compare the situation prior to 2003, the fall of the regime, and post that era, uh, the KRG has made some concession on the powers that was exercising in the region because we voluntarily decided to go back to Baghdad and be partners in the new Iraq. So based on 
federal principles of power sharing and wealth sharing, the region has some powers. There are areas which are the exclusive powers of the federal government, uh, formulating the foreign policy, the defense policy, and the monetary policy. The rest lie with uh, the rest of the powers lie with the region. But what we want to achieve is to have a kind of a situation where there is full cooperation and coordination, so that we live in peace and to have normal relations between this region and the federal government in Baghdad, a relationship that's based on trust and helping each other, because we believe that such kind of system is the only viable solution that can help Iraq to stay together, but also for all the people of Iraq to benefit from the rich resources that we have in this country. Now, if you compare the situation of Kurdistan today with the situation of Kurdistan before the American liberation of Iraq from Saddam, it's a remarkable story. The Kurdistan region today is unified. It has a common parliament, a common government, the two major parties which fought a civil war in the mid-1990s together share power in the Erbil parliament. They organized a common electoral list for Kurdistan in the Iraq-wide federal elections on two successive occasions and did remarkably well. Ministers from the Kurdistan region play a very significant role in the Baghdad federal government. They have foreign affairs, they have one of the deputy prime ministerships, and they notably have the presidency. So they've succeeded in unifying themselves, they've succeeded in creating a power-sharing government at home and being key players in maintaining a power-sharing regime in Baghdad itself. They've negotiated and were the key architects of Iraq's constitution of 2005, which is a fresh page in Iraq's constitutional history. It makes Iraq a, a pluralist federation, both on paper and I think in practice. It, recognizes Iraq as a land of many nationalities, a country of uh, multiple religions, not merely Islam. It provides all of the self-government that Iraq could uh, possibly concede to Kurdistan without ceasing to be a state. So if you look at the constitution, the number of exclusive powers of the federal government are remarkably few. Um, Kurdistan has the substance of full domestic independence. It has its own army, the Peshmerga, lawfully authorized and retrospectively uh, authorized as the valid army of Kurdistan back to 1992. It has full control over its own internal security. It has access to all control over natural resources found in Kurdistan and not yet currently exploited. Oil and gas that are already exploited in Iraq, at least exploited before the 2005 constitution came into being, that must be allocated across Iraq as a whole on a per capita basis. So Kurdistan has an entitlement to Iraq-wide oil revenues and the right to develop its own revenues, uh, which have not yet been exploited. It can, in effect, pursue an independent economic policy. And, of course, the Kurdish language is now one of the official languages of Iraq and it's the official language of the Kurdistan region itself. In foreign affairs, Kurdistan is entitled to have diplomatic missions attached to Iraqi embassies and entitled to represent Kurdistan's interests on all matters that are beyond the exclusive competences of the federal government. And because those powers are so small, it uh, means that Kurdistan, in effect, has extensive diplomatic representation. The way I like to put it is that Kurdistan is freer within Iraq's constitution than is any member state within the European Union. As you know, within the European Union, every member state must accept between 80,000 and 100,000 pages of already established law. There's a huge degree of constraint on the economic and policy-making freedom of member states of the EU. By contrast, Kurdistan has to accept no such limitations. In fact, if there's a clash between the Baghdad Parliament and the Erbil Parliament on any matter that um, is outside of the exclusive competences of the federal government, Kurdistan law is supreme. It can strike down uh, a federal statute in the relevant area. So they remade Iraq as a deeply decentralized federation. Now, what does this mean in practice? In practice, they have achieved the goal of Mullah Mustafa Barzani, 
who famously led the Kurdish National Liberation Movement between 1945 and uh, up until his death in 1979. His platform was always autonomy for Kurdistan and democracy for Iraq. And for the time being, Kurds have achieved that. Now, of course, Iraq is by no means um, a perfectly functioning democracy. Nobody would pretend that. But it is a dramatic transformation from the regime of Saddam. There have been two federation-wide elections held. There have been three prime ministers removed as a result of the act of will of um, elected Iraqis. So we have um, an alternation in the executive. We have elected leaders being decisive, and we have uh, a meaningful form of Kurdish autonomy. This is a remarkable transformation. Additionally, the two parties, the, the KDP and the PUK, have dominated the political scene in Kurdistan. There's always been a constellation of smaller parties that have varying ties to the two big parties. Sometimes they've split away from one of them, they rejoin, they, uh, th th these things are, are common and we saw that after the elections of 1992 um, and we see uh, different groupings of smaller parties around each of the main ones or we see uh, a, new, well, a, a separate grouping of Islamist parties as well. Um, but I still think it's clear that the KDP and the PUK dominate the political life of the Kurdistan region. Um, again, we have to, I think, look at the, the comparisons to su successor states in the Soviet Union, to states that are transiting from authoritarianism to democracy, um, and this is part of a, a process. It's, it, will, it is an interesting question to ask whether these parties will relinquish the levels of power uh, to, that they have to such an extent that they may not hold power in the future. Many people don't think they can do that. Um, but again, we're in a, a transitory moment right now. Um, and arguably, I, it, uh, some, uh, certainly the Kurdish leadership of the KDP and PUK would say that it's in, Iraq, in, in the Kurds' interest to maintain their political system as it is while Iraq is in the position that it's in at this moment. Well, you don't need a weak party representing you in Baghdad. Again, this ties into the whole corruption uh, discourse as well. I mean, where are these parties serving themselves or serving the Kurdish people? Um, but um, it is a complicated picture. In, in brief, I think, yes, of course, they dominate Kurdish political life. Will they do so in the future? Only if they satisfy the demands of the Kurdish population and they do um, gain their, their positions of power through a democratic process. Uh, tabi, روجانا ترجع قصف دكا إيران قصف دكا مش مشاكل ما لقى العراق هي بداخل لنا وخوش ما نوكو أوروبا تون لا أوروبا لا شرينا وخوي أوروبا لا حرب عالمية كم دوم زيادة الشخص مليون كاس كشرة لا أوروبا إيمش بمرحلة دارويشتين أو أنا همو أسباب بينك أما هنجاوي تدي من هايش ببرة مؤسسات تقول أجر هل والله تج مؤسسات حكمي كرت مؤسسات أو ولا تا عدالة زور تداد بي كم كري كم ترتداد بي موضوعك النسبية يعني مطلق نيابري لكردستان كوربشن يعني جندلي أو ندزورة ك هم مشتشي بزرق البناء لكردستان إيشي زور باش كلاه إيشي زور باش كلاه بلام أو زروفانة كباسم كل سبب أقول لويك عنده خلل هبي بلام ذكريب لين سال بسال وضع كان زور برو باشتر ده تيسو كاما سي سالا صدام رقايا ده هاتا جي سابت من لبغ ده هيا واما سي سالا لنا وخوش من حكمتا جي مشترك من بيكينيا بيشتر دو حكمتا ودو ايدارة هبو كواتا دكري بلين تقييمي كردستان اسال او سي سالا دكري او سي سار سالا رقاني صدام او سي سار سالا كاما بيكوا يك ايدارة من هيا لقر يشيتي ولقر احزابا كاني تر و استا حكمتي هرمي كردستان بتابتي زنابي سروق بارزاني زور بتزدي خليكا كأو كم كوريانا كم بكاتوا استا لبرلماني كردستان ميزانيا دخوين ريتوا أبوابكان تقسيم لكري 
و استا وزارتی تخطیت و اصل به توابی اجداکات نل بو اوی تخطیت نل بو او دهات داد نیک دیت کردستان و استا قانون رقابه در چل کردستان قانون رقابه و تفعیل دور رقابه اجداکات نل کردستان مجموعه خطوات که طبیعی نل بو اوی ک او کم کریانی که هیا کمتر بکری تو ولی امیشی جوری باشی زور کرده مثلا وضع اقتصادی خالی کردستان زور باش ولی تاو پیشتر یکی از نشتمانی کردستان برای با سیستمی پارلمانیه ولی عراقی برای با سیستمی فدرالیه لیرا برای با و هیا کرجمه کل بغداد و نبی اورجمه لب عبت رجمه صدام حسین به لمركز هموشت قرار بده يكاس قرار بده و ببه جوه دانه ناوزو كان بوه ديوه لفروسي بريال ورگلتن Decision Taking Measures بالرأي همو اقلي مكان ورگلي و همل آشتي و همل شار پيوستا همو لاق لعراق بجده هلی بكنك بريال بدري و امر بكري خلب بتا زيهازي تنفيزي بو بريال اكاني ناوات يعني لا مركز لا مركزي كرني ده صلاة ده صلاة بس رحمو ناو شكان ده ده برشكو او رويه شايتين اجتماعني كردسان لناو لحريمي كردساني عراق <تصفيق> صدا بانجاي ده صلاتي هي ده صلاة نيوة بنيوة اه و اه لبر اوي وزع عراق كردساني عراق ووزع عراق لا هندا لا 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 مستقرنية و مسئله کرد ل عراق هشت حرشی دسره اما بر روان به وی که دبی حکومتی وحده وطنی درست کن حکومتی یه چیتی نشتمانی وحده وطنی نشنال یونیتی گوورنمنت باید ل لو حکومت است پارتی و یه چیتی نشتمانی کردند و کوی یک بچ دارن لو حکومت و حزب کانی تری بچوکو قومیات و ادیانی کل کردستان هی و کو کریشن تركمنس كرد تركمان ومسيحي يزيدي هموي بجدالن لو حكمة إستا بلا من نسبة يجيتو بارتي وكو يكا دتوانين بلين حفتا و بينس هشتا لساتي دا صلاة لا بشكلا لبين يجيتو بارتي بيستو بينس لساتيشي دراوة با حزبة كاني تر و يجيتين اجتماعني لعراقيش هروا أورو العراق كرد لنا حكمة العراق تازة دوري هي سروش كومار كردة وزير دارة وكردة زيقري سروش أنجماني وزيران كردة زيقري سروش برلمان كردة سروش أركاني سباي عراق كردة برو بري قشتي استخبارات عسكري عراق كردة و چند وزیر چتری شهر ل و کسان او اقتصادی او بلدیات او حتی آخری آمانه وزیر کردند. برام کرد لگر جمعریج ل حزبی تر تحالفاتیه مثلا لگر حزبی اسلامی عراق لگر کسون حزبی سنیه لگر حزبی دعوال لگر مجلس إسلامي أعلى أمانة بيك ولا زور مسألة دا رأي دا دن وإما أو فريقيك لبغداد همانا جروبي كردي بارتي بيا يشتي بي وكو يك فريق إيشكا لا برلمان وكو يك فريق إيشكا لا حكومتي وكو يك فريق إيشكا بناوي كردستان أليانس تحالف كردستاني هم حزب كان يتداعى بل هم وكو يك فريق إيشكا ولا هريمي كردستاني جاملرا تقريبا وكو يك فريق لا تشاتشي حكومتي هريم ايشاكي دتوانين بلين لا عراق اما لا حدود بيست بيست ويك لا ساتي دا صلات مانها لا هريم كردستاني عراق قوى هموي دا صلاتي كردية هشتا لا ساتي بويا كيتو بارتيا لو هشتا لا ساتا تشلا ساتي هي كيتو تشلا ساتي هي بارتيا As all for Iraq what happened it was not expected yeah, we believe that uh, changing the regime is was going to be uh, to be so easy, and to, we are going to get our freedom in in an easy way. 
But what happened, uh, really, it was uh, a shock because uh, the uh, terrorists and Al Qaeda, especially, uh, they destroyed everything here in Iraq. Uh, until now, the situation is not uh, so perfect, but it's a matter of time, of course. Uh, everything is going to be okay. Uh, and uh, we, as a Christian minority, as Syrians as a Christian minority, we suffered uh, in double what happens for all Iraqis and what, what was programmed against us. It was done by, for example, bombing the, our church, killing our priests and bishops. It's something uh, organized. It's not something happening by chance, no. Uh, it's uh, arranged. Uh, so most of our people, Christian people from Basra, they left from there, and from Baghdad, they left their houses. Uh, they came to Nineveh Plain, uh, which is uh, near Mosul. It's uh, most uh, majority of Christian uh, demography. Uh, and most of them, they returned back to their village. Uh, and we are looking forward, uh, really, because we don't want our case to be solved short or uh, solutions. No, we, we need something forever to be done for us. So we are looking, uh, because uh, in the Constitution, uh, it's uh, confirming the uh, federalization for Iraq as well. So we are also as minority, and we have our own demography uh, population in Nineveh Plain, we are looking forward to have our autonomy. So now we are asking for that, and we are asking to be confirmed, to be fixed in Iraqi uh, constitution, and also in uh, Kurdistan region constitution. We as parties, as chairs, as uh, organizations, we are uh, uh, working hard to get it, and we are asking uh, United States, we are asking United Nations, we are asking uh, United Kingdom and European uh, Union uh, to take it in their consideration because it's going to be uh, the best solution to us, to keep our culture, to keep our uh, habits, our traditional habits, to keep our history and also to make it us uh, effective in 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 uh, developing Iraq because uh, we have uh, too many uh, experts. We have uh, our long history in Iraq. So asking for autonomy, it doesn't mean that we are asking to have our independent region or anything like that. No, we are asking for the autonomy uh, which will help us to keep what we have uh, of culture, of folklore and uh, of language and in from one point uh, of view. And the other point of view, it will help us to be more effective in, in rebuilding Iraq. من لامادی کمی پیر رو پروگرام خوانم، بهم جوره تعریفی خوانم کرد و که اما پیش در رج لامو پیش کنگرش من باست که اما پارته کی اصلاحی نشتمانی، 
تیه کوشین لطفنا و چاره سرکت نی گیرو گرفت سیاسی و آبی رو کاملا تکانی کامل جای کردستان لدیده کی اسلامیا. بله به جوری او پیناسی که اما کرد من یا گرتو ناتش تشویق شو ایر حزب تقلیدی اسلامی یعنی که لناو چکه هم پیمان و که شوازی که تابتی لیش کرد نی اسلامیا و تیر روانی لدیده اسلامیا و بوکه شکان جای ل. او تو حزب یکی اسلامی تقلیدی بی و آوش که ما خواند پیانا سکر دو به حزب یکی نشتمانی اصلاحی اصلاحی بون به شیوه یکی گشتی عرستی اما در خب برانبر کاملش شد یا کمی برانبر به وی که اما به هیچ جور برامن به تنوتیجی نیه و یه ما ل ازمونی کردستانه ل دوای ل هزار و نصف نو چهار کدروز بون ل چهار شیوهی یا سای پارت سیاسی کانی کردستانه یا کم حزبی کردستانی بون کبی میلیشا و به شیوه یکی سیویل و مدنی در روز بوین که اما خوی لخوی اضافه یکی سیاسی گرنگ بو بوش یعنی سیاسی کردستان و بو او روشگاری کردستان لراسیت تا رادیه یکیش نامو بو حتی خلقان پیانو بو که اما ناتوانی سرکو تو بین او اصلاحی بون و هر و گوران اوی که اما برامن بزور کردن یه لگوران برامن با اکراهن یه و امانوی بشوازی که دیموکراسی لچوارچوی قناعت پیکرنی جماوره و برابون بفریهی آینی و مذبی و سیاسی نتوی لکومالگای خومان هاولی بجداری کردن لچارستر کردنی که شکانی کومالگای خومان بین مسئله این اجتماعیش اوی که اما دی سانه و حزمه که هیمن خوازی اسلامی نین پیمان وابی آبی لری تطبیق کردنی شریعت اسلامی و همو کومالگا که به تجار ازمونی ایما یا بلین سیستمی ماف منظومه ماف لرنگ ایما لسر اساسی انتمانیه بو اسلام بلکه لسر اساسی جیانه لنشتمانه همو آوانی لنشتمانه اجین با جیاوزی دینیان مذبیان آینیان نتوانیان و انتمای سیاسی و پیگی کمالاتیان آبی خوانی ماف وقت یک بن چکم لسر اساسی انتما بو نشتمان چم که حوالاتیتی جمانه پیاکا و ایما مرکان می نکن بایا توانیم به کلم جورانه بلنه که ایما پارتی که سیاسین پارتی که سیاسی نشتمانین بلام لدیدگاه که اسلامی و امش تا رده یک نزیک مانه خاطه و لپارت مسیح دیموکراتی کانی خور آوا کل روانگی قیمه کانی مسیحیت و خواتی سیاسی کن و اجنده سیاسی خوان دارم بله ایما لکردستان کتره که پرلمانی من هی نو اندامه کتله که نو اندامی پارلمان من هست دو وزیر من ل حکومتی هریم کردستان هست ل جل حفظ اندامی انجمنی پارسگاه کانی کردستان دو وزیر نوزا اندامی انجمنی پارسگاه کرد ل بغاش کتله که پارلمان تاری پیش کسیم ل جل وزیره the one person two person three person who are very very rich twenty thirty person the medium class and the rest consumer the medium class could communicate between the top and the base and the consumers. Bottom. Now, according to this kind of new free market economy, without having culture of free market economy, without having the uh, law of free market, and the bilateral relations between Iraq, especially Kurdistan, neighboring countries, how to control quality-wise, quantity-wise, uh, and the partner between some of the smugglers and politicians, smugglers and the member of government. Uh, now we have more than uh, 15 to 20 percent very rich people, no more medium class, and the rest, all of them are bottom or consumers. Therefore, if you see everywhere, you see they shout, they ride against uh, corruption. We know that and we have created uh, last time a commission to follow this issue, how to bring uh, the uh, socio-economical relationship in, in, in order uh, and a new creation of the medium class and what's the function of the medium class in our society. You have patriotic medium class and you have uh, medium class they smuggled or they, they, they are against the interests of the of the of the economy uh, and we have also some of the examples uh, near us for example uh, we see the situation in Palestine and now Hamas is on the power and they won in, in the election why because the corruption among the uh, Fatah and the moderate groups, 
they couldn't control the situation. They, uh, they, they got more and more money, and how they spent it, no one knows it. Uh, if we are not ready to take care about this issue, maybe we will face with our Hamas also. Always what's shown in the TVs, in the media, is the, is the negative part of what's happening in Iraq as well. Uh, you know, the situation in Iraq, although there are too many uh, terrorist things happening, but in the same way, in parallel, uh, the uh, developments is going uh, step by step and, and forward. Yeah, uh, but uh, the region, the Kurdistan region, really is other part of it. It's the other Iraq. Uh, because here, you know, the security uh, uh, is very good. Uh, although, maybe during one year or during two years, sometimes some some problems uh, are going to happen this is ordinary uh, comparing to to what's going on in in uh, most uh, iraqi cities uh, here because uh, we start our uh, controlling the region with ourselves from uh, 90 1990 so a good experience had happened how to uh, have uh, uh, a security and how to control the uh, gates uh, coming from other uh, cities. Uh, so the situation is uh, is good comparing to other parts of Iraq and really uh, for someone uh, the situation is, is coming is going to be very clear when he is visiting the region. It's much more peaceful than uh, the rest of Iraq, to put it mildly. Indeed, I've often pointed out that there have been more jihadist bombings in London than there have been in Erbil and Suleimania since 2003. Now, that's not just uh, an accident. Kurdistan has very successful security organized by the Peshmerga. They have a security perimeter. And that perimeter is extremely intense in the way it interviews uh, Iraqis from the rest of Iraq, especially if they're Arabs. Uh, they take great care to ensure that they know who they are. They register all visitors. All visitors must know somebody within Kurdistan or have an address within Kurdistan. People are disarmed coming into Kurdistan, uh, and there's much greater control over weapons in Kurdistan by comparison with the rest of Iraq. Because the government's legitimate, that's not to say there aren't complaints about the government, the public cooperate with the policing and the intelligence authorities and point out if they have any suspicions about, for example, jihadist activity. So these are the reasons why Kurdistan is very secure. امنيه شيء باشي لكردستان مع العلم ما جزء شيء للعراق مثلا خلق للعراق باني دستدري دستدري نيورو مالك بتمينينه كذا قريته وهذا كجري ما مستعد زعيم عيده كجن دكتور ده كجن بديان بسبور عرب لشاركان عراق استهاتوا نتهولير زياتر ل 50000 عرب لهولير هي استا زياتر ل 20000 ترك لهولير استا اجدك 10000 عند النسيو ماليزي هات لهولير اجدك يعني او همو نشاني او يكا وضعي ايرا زور زور باشترا لشوينا كاتي تربوية وخلقة ديري لانا اجدا كاتا او امنيتا طبعي زور زور مهمة تكا اگر خلق با يك بوجورة پاري هبي و بلي باشي هبي و همو شتاكي هبي والا ما اگر امنيتي نبي هو خلق هب ولا عراق وضعي زور زور باش با والا لبر امنيت عراقي بزي اشتيا كواتا اوانا همو يدس كوتن بالا امالا شي زور شيا كواسعة زور باشتر بي بتاي بتي باشي او تواب ده بيتن تو كتا استا كردستان زور دولة من دولة روي سامان سروشتي و سياحة و زراعة توا بلام تا استا نوان تواني سود لا او سامان سروشتاني خومان ور بگرين دلنيام كا استا وا خريكين استا لشر داينا لروي دستوري ولگر عراق شر قانوني شر دستوري تا داهاتي خومان 
لبو خومان بي بي دستوري عراق بي قوانين كان عراق او كاتيا دلنيان پاشي سي ساليتر قوران شي زور زور قورا لروي آبوري لروي پيشكوتن لكردستان دبي يشتين اجتماعني كردستان بحقه كي طبيعي قلي كردستاني دزاني كما في تاري خونوسين تا جيابون او درس كلين دولة السلبخو او ما في كا لا همو كارتاكاني نتوية قلتوكان هيا ما فيك كهمو عرفو قانوني دولي إجازة داو وإما سؤالك إن لخو من دلين ما دام إنجليز ولاتي خوي هيا ألمان ولاتي خوي هيا فرنسي ولاتي خوي هيا أغا عرب بيز ولاتي خوي هيا أغا لو خرابة أوان بوتي أنا أغا باشا إما بونا مان بي يعني زور بسيط أو سؤال بك بلام لا زروفي استادا تحالف كل ثاني بيكوا ويشيت الاجتماعين لنا ودا ما في تاريخ خونوسيني بو ام مرحله بما في فدرالي لا تشارتشي عراقي كي بيتو دا دزني شام بلام اول هم الدنيا واعي هيكو جيان لا ولات كي بيتو دا وكو خيزان وهي يا خيزان كي بختور كهم ما فكان يعني هي يا أتن بردمي بردمي قاضي طلاق ورق أجر لا عراقي أستا خلق تقديره تجيشني هبي بو قلي كورت كزور امتحان قرص كلا ولا رابور دو داو بحرك خويني دا ولا بيناوي جيشتن بمرو أزاد كردني عراق لا ديكتاتوري شو كو صدام حسين ببيني كا إشكاني نار وكا همان سياسة الرابر دوا لقلي دانوي ممارسة بكن أو بدلنيائية و بيكوجيهان ممكننا جارة من بشخصي ومن دامي الجماني قشتي بزوتنوي الرفراندوم لكردستان كالا دو صالي الرابر دوشا ما الرفراندوم يكينا رسمي ما انكر السيويكي دوانزي دوانزار و بيان جا هاو كاد لقال هاو بجادنا كانا من الدامي اللي جنين بالاي او الرفنان دوما بوم بالدامي او وفداج بوم كاتشين بولاي الجماني حكم بناي او بزوت نوعا ومليوني كو حوصت هزار الدام امزا ما كوكر دو زيادة اللي مليوني كو حوصت هزار امزا لصار نوع هشتو لدا هشتي او خلقي بجداري كردو داواي سربخوبوني كردوسان وجابو نوعا لعراق كردو من بشخصي خوش مليكم لواني كا اقر بيتو باردوخي نام شکا گنجاو بیا و اگر خلیل رژیم گوری دی نکه و تو رزامدی ها بیا چهار سری ریشه ای که شی کرد لاست دولتی سر با خوی کردی آبین ما و اما اما کوی اگر توی اسلامی کردستانش پیمانوای لام خوناغه فدرالیت لقل بونی دموکراسی و بون نبونی دسلاتی که مذهبی یا قومی لعراقا اکری لانی کمی چهار سری که شی کرد که لروی مبدئی و ما دولة كردي بما في كل رأي نتوي كرد زانين بس لما مرحلة يا فدراليزم بدروش ميكي واقع زانين بو شارسري كرد نكل لم بارجة بل كل بارجة كان يتري كرد زانش. Yeah, I mean I don't think there's anything particularly worrying about most Kurds saying they want to be independent. You probably get a pretty similar answer from any region in the United Kingdom or it's it's a an ethno-nationalist dream of many people to, to have an independent status for their people. Um, there are some observers that think the Kurds made a mistake, that the Kurdish leaders should have taken advantage of the um, confusion of the immediate post-2003 period and declared independence. The Kurdish leadership seems to think that it made the right choices by wanting to uh, be seen as the, the good partners in Iraq and assisting in the reconstruction of the post-Saddam state. Um, I think it was wise to err on the side of caution. If they declared independence back in 2003, they would probably, I think, have seen the Turkish invasion very, very quickly and would probably have lost the support of the Americans as well. Um, the idea that you can be a Kurdistan region within a wider state, have access to greater resources, um, protection in a pretty hostile environment is an attractive one. The question is, can they really build that? Can they really develop an Iraq like that? And Iraq has never been like that in the past. Can that develop in the future that has a, a vibrant, active, 
very autonomous Kurdistan region within it, and they have all the guarantees that they need uh, to exist there. That's going to be the question that has to be answered over the next few years, even months, I would say, with the upcoming um, problems on, on the disputed territories. Uh, لمساقي أمم المتحدة لتسن خالق لتسن بندق باسي ما في تاريخ ونسين لك سيل اوف ديترمينيشن ما في تاريخ ونسين يعني هر ملتك حقي خويتي وضعي مركزي سياسي خوي مركزي اقتصادي خوي اختياركا <تصفيق> ملتي كردش ببي مساقي أمم المتحدة و بپی همو مافکانی که لدینیه هست، بپی مافکانی مراف حقی خویتی که کیانی خویه بی، دولتی خویه بی. خالقی کردستان، اوی استال کردستان هست، زور زور کمتره، ببراور لگر او تصحیح که ملتی کردایتی، ملتی کرد شورشی کردیا، ملتی کرد خالق جزوری لکوچرای، ملتی کرد کیمیای برانبر بکارهاتیا، ملتی کرد انفالی برانبر بکارهاتیا، ملتی کرد به هزاران خالقی دی بسر شون کرایا، کوتاه. ملتی کرشانی اوی دولتی خویه بی ولی من است از روی دولی لصالح منیه که ما اعلانی دولتی خویم کن. آور رومانه وی ما لازم نی عراق. ولی من عراق که پابند بی بدست ول که خویل بوم باشتره. بوی عاطفا عاطفی خلق فرق فرقیه لگر واقعیت. آو خلق کدن جدا بکو دنگدان بریالش عاطفی و نک بریالش سیاسی که حزیلا اندیپندنا. We believe that uh, the KRG can do a lot in order to achieve the aspirations of our people. Politically, the leadership of this region has decided, based on a voluntary union, to be part of Iraq, an Iraq that's federal, democratic, pluralistic, a country that lives in peace within itself and also with its neighbors. Uh, we are we are running the affairs of this region. There are certain areas which are the exclusive powers of the federal government. The rest are given to the region and also uh, the Kurdistan National Assembly here uh, legislates laws and laws that are confined to this region uh, and the KRG works closely with the parliament so that we are able to uh, serve the people better because the people have suffered a lot in the past and the people uh, deserve a better future. Uh, we have a, a difficult past and we had a bitter experience, a tragic history but we do not want uh, to have that repeated again therefore we want to have a bright future a future that our people need and deserve in theory if any element of the constitution um, is not kept to and let's say for example article 140 is deemed by the Kurds not to have been implemented by the Iraqi government then there is an argument to say that the constitution is then um, void and that they would then be free to do whatever they want. The Iraqi the Kurdish uh, leaders are, are quite, they, they have a bit of a mantra that they, they, they want to be in Iraq as long as Iraq is democratic, pluralist, federal, uh, and the rights of minorities are protected. If Iraq is all of those things, then of course they want to be part of it. But if any of those things are missing, then of course they have no choice but, but to not be in it. Uh, but I, I think they, they're working into a position whereby they would never want to be held or be accused of leaving Iraq. If ever an independent Kurdish state was established, it would be because they were no longer welcome in Iraq. The Kurds of Iraq obviously have historic experiences which are strikingly different from those of their neighbours. They experienced the full weight of Ba'athist repression under Saddam and they experienced genocidal assaults in living memory. Unlike the Kurds of Turkey, the Kurds of Iraq have been successfully able to preserve their own language as a language of public discourse and of education. They've had extensive experience of autonomy on or off since the 1970s. So they've had self-government in a meaningful way, unlike any other set of Kurds be they the Kurds of Iran, uh, the Kurds of Syria, or the small number of Kurds.
Kurds in the Russian Federation. So the Kurds of Iraq have a longer history of self-government. They preserve their language much more vigorously. They have it in institutional uh, form in uh, the educational domain. And not least, they probably have the most successful military record of opposition to uh, the governments which have controlled them. And some of the time, they've been on the right side in geopolitical alliances. Sometimes they've lost as well. But it is there as a, a constant shadow uh, over, over the Kurdish experience in Iraq uh, and it's going to be interesting to see whether the Iraqi state itself recognises these, these symbols and, and these, uh, these facts that are, that are turned into myths of nationalism now within Kurdistan uh, and, and how the Iraqi government itself manages these things in the future. They've seen an utterly remarkable transformation. Uh, at the end of the 1980s, they were subjected, undoubtedly, in my judgment, to genocide, the deliberate intent of the state to exterminate part of the population and to encourage the rest of the population to flee. That nadir has been succeeded by a form of restricted self-government in uh, borders that were determined by Saddam. He withdrew from uh, trying to govern the entirety of Kurdistan. He arbitrarily established what is the current boundary of the Kurdistan regional government. They were deprived of access to economic resources from Baghdad. Uh, they didn't get their appropriate share of Iraq's oil revenues. They were subjected to double sanctions. They had sanctions by the United Nations on Iraq as a whole and sanctions by Baghdad against Kurdistan which were eventually partially relieved during the Oil for Food program in which Kurdistan received some of the monies that it might otherwise have been entitled to had it been treated properly as part of Iraq. So they had a grim early 90s economically, but the first beginnings of political self-government. The Kurdistan region of Iraq, uh, after the uprising of 1991, uh, after the withdrawal of the administration of the central government then, was left in a legal and a administrative vacuum. Therefore, the Kurdistan Front political leadership called for a, an election in this region or in this part of Iraq so that we organize our political life and the administration in this region. So in May 1992, there was general election to elect a regional parliament, Kurdistan National Assembly, and afterward to form the Kurdistan regional government. The first cabinet was established then. Uh, so there is a coalition of political parties uh, in the Kurdistan regional government cabinet to run the administration. Since 1992, we have worked uh, through difficult uh, circumstances, living in a tough neighborhood, facing a lot of challenges, no proper budget, uh, not that much international community support apart from a limited number of NGOs who have come to help us and uh, we inherited 4,500... <laughs> 
بلام اول همو دنیا وای تکو جیان لولات کی گرتودا و کو خزان وای یا خزانه کی بختور که همو مافکان یان هی یا اصن بردم بردم قاضی طلاق ورگر اگر لا عراق استا خلق تقدیر و تگیشتنی هبی بو گلی کورد ک زور امتحان قرص کرا ول رابر دو داو بحرک خوینی داو ول پیناوی گیشتن بمرو آزاد کردن عراق لا دیکتاتوری چوک صدام حسین ببینی ک ایشکان ناروا ک همان سیاست رابر دو لا گلی دانوی هم مارس اب کن او بدل نیایی و پیکوژی هم ممکن نه. جاری من با شخصی من دامی انجمنی گشتی بزوت نو رفراندوم لکردستان. کل دو سال را بردو شما رفراندومی که نر رسمی من کرد لسیوی کی دو انزی دو هزار و پنجا هاکاد لگال هم جد نکنه. من دامی لجنه بالای او رفراندوم بوم با دامی او وفدج بوم کشین ولای انجمنی حکم بنای او بزوت نو. و ملیونی که حوصله هزاری دام امضا ما کوکر دو زیاد ل ملیونی که حوصله امضا ل صار نو هشت ل ده هشت او خلقی بجداری کرد و دعای سر به خوبونی کردستان و جابو نوای ل عراق کرد و من با شخصی خوش میگه که ملوانی که اگر بیاد تو بارودو خی نوشکا گنجاو بیه و اگر خون رژی جوری ل نکه و تو رزامدیه به چهار سر ریشه ای که شی کرد لاست دولتی سر به خوی کردی آبین ما اما اما کوی اگر تو اسلامی کردستانش پیمانواه لام قناعه چه فدرالیت لقل بونی دموکراسی و بون نبونی دسلاتی که مذهبی یا قومی لعراقا اکره لانی کمی چهار سری کیشه کرد که لروی مبدعیه و ما دولتی کردی به ما فکر رای نتوی کرد زنین بس لام مرحله یا فدرالیزم بدروش میکی واقعی زنین با چهار سری کرد نکن لام پارچه یا بلکو لام پارچه کنی تری کرد زنش Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything particularly worrying about most Kurds saying they want to be independent. You'd probably get a pretty similar answer from any region in the United Kingdom. Or uh, it, it's it's a, an ethno-nationalist dream of many people to, to have an independent status for their people. Um, there are some observers that think the Kurds made a mistake, that the Kurdish leaders should have taken advantage of the... Um, confusion of the immediate post-2003 period. A radical settlement which partitioned the Ottoman Empire. And it was envisaged that a huge swathe of southeast Turkey, Turkish Kurdistan, would join together with the Mosul Vidyat, or province, of the Ottoman Empire, which um, today would be described, at least by Turks, as northern Iraq, but is fundamentally Iraqi Kurdistan. So there was a promise of an independent state. The idea of the great powers that were interested in having that state, uh, namely the British and to a lesser extent the French, was to have a buffer state between the rump Ottoman Empire, the Soviet Union, um, and the Arab states to the south. Turkey recovered under Kemal and successfully expelled the Western powers. It repudiated the Treaty of Sèvres, and in the Treaty of Lausanne, the current borders of Turkey were broadly defined, though the border with Iraq would not be consolidated with the League of Nations until 1926. The British decided in the aftermath of Kemal Ataturk's rise to abandon any plans to support an independent Kurdistan and instead they argued with Kurdish elites that they would create an autonomous Kurdistan within Iraq. Uh, a, a promise that they fundamentally betrayed, though in some respects uh, they did preserve the distinct identity of Kurdistan and Iraq. They did enable a small amount of administration to be conducted in Kurdish. They did not at that juncture interfere with the traditional dominance of traditional Kurdish notables. So if you like, it can be portrayed as a classic version of British indirect rule in which traditional elites were preserved, the British uh, governed the relevant area, and they didn't in any deep sense integrate it fully into the rest of Iraq.
There's a, a famous saying by the grandfather of a Kurdish filmmaker called Hinir Salim, and he quotes his grandfather as saying, our past is sad, our present is catastrophic, fortunately we don't have a future. Now no one in Kurdistan would talk that way today. With um, examples such as Halabja, uh, it's important to stress just how important they are in the psyche, in the national psyche of Kurds in general, but of uh, Kurds in Iraq in particular. Uh, in the 1980s was particularly a period of brutal... Aida especially, uh, they destroyed everything here in Iraq. Uh, until now, the situation is not uh, so perfect, but it's a matter of time, of course. Uh, everything is going to be okay. Uh, and uh, we, as a Christian minority, as Syrians as a Christian minority, we suffered uh, in double what happens for all Iraqis and what what was programmed against us. It was done by, for example, bombing the, our church, killing our priests and bishops. It's something uh, organized. It's not something happening by chance, no. Uh, it's uh, arranged, uh, so most of our people, Christian people from Basra, they lived from there, and from Baghdad, they left their houses. Uh, they came to Nineveh Plain, uh, which is uh, near Mosul. It's uh, most uh, majority of Christian uh, demography, uh, and most of them, they returned back to their village. Uh, and we are looking forward, uh, really, because we don't want our case to be solved short or uh, solutions. No, we, we need something forever to be done for us. So we are looking, uh, because uh, in the Constitution, uh, it's uh, confirming the uh, federalization for Iraq as well. So we are also as minority, and we have our own demography uh, population in Nineveh Plain, we are looking forward to have our autonomy. So now we are asking for that, and we are asking to be confirmed, to be fixed in Iraqi constitution, and also in uh, Kurdistan region constitution. We as parties, as chairs, as uh, organizations, we are uh, uh, working hard to get it, and we are asking uh, United States, we are asking United Nations, we are asking uh, United Kingdom and European uh, Union uh, to take it in their consideration because it's going to be uh, the best solution to us, to keep our culture, to keep our uh, habits, our traditional habits, to keep our history and also to make it us uh, effective in in, in uh, developing Iraq because uh, we have uh, too many uh, experts. <laughs> تیاروانی لدیدی اسلامی و بوکش کن جای ل اوی تو حزبی کی اسلامی تقلیدی بی و آوش که ام خوانم پیانا سکر دو به حزبی کی نشتمانی اصلاحی اصلاحی بون به شیوه کی گشتی عرصه ام در خبران بر کمالش شد یا کمی بران بر باوی که ام به هیچ جور بر رامن به تنوتیجی نیه و ام ل از مونی کردستانه ل دوای ل هزار و نصف نو چهار کدروز بون د چهار شیوهی یا سای پارت سیاسی کانی کردستانه یا کم حزبی کردستانی بون کبی میلیشا و به شیوهی کی سیویل و مدنی در روز بوین که اما خوی لخوی اضافه کی سیاسی گرین بو بوش یعنی سیاسی کردستان و بو او روشگاری کردستان لراسیه تا رادیه کی جنامو بو حتی خلقان پیانو بو که اما ناتوانی سرکو تو بین او اصلاحی بون و هر و گوران اوی که اما برامن بزار کردن یه لگوران برامن با اکرانیه و امانوی بشوازی کی دیموکراسی لچوارچوی قناعت پیکرنی جماوره و برابون با فریهی آینی و مذبی و سیاسی نتوی لکومالگای خومان هاولی بجداری کردن لچارستر کردنی که شکانی کومالگای خومان بین مسئله این اجتماعیش اوی که اما دی سانو حزمه کی هیمن خوازی اسلامی نین 
پیمان وابی آبی لریت تطبیق کردنی شریعت اسلامی و همو کاملگا که به تجار ازمونی ایما یا برای سیستمی ماف منظومه ماف لرنگ ایما لسر اساسی انتمانیه بو اسلام بلکه لسر اساسی جیانه لنشتمانه همو آوانی لنشتمانه اجین با جیازی دینیان مذهبیان عینیان نتوانیان و انتمای سیاسی پیگی کاملاتیان آبی خوانی ماف وقت یک بن چکم لسر اساسی انتما بو نشتمان چم که حوالاتیتی جمعنا پیاکا و ایما مرکان می نکن باید توانیم به کلم جورانه بله که ما پارتی کی سیاسین پارتی کی سیاسی نشتمانین بلام لدیدگاه کی اسلامی و اما شتار ردیک نزیک ما نخاته ولی پارت مسیح دیموکراتی کانی خور آوا کل روانگی قیم کانی مسیحیت و خواتی سیاسی کن و اجندای سیاسی خوان داره بله اما ل کردستان کتله کی پارلمانی من هنو اندامه کتله کی نو اندامی پارلمان من هست دو وزیر من ل حکومتی هریم کردستان هیا لگال حفظ اندامی انجمنی پارسگا کانی کردستان دو وزیر نوزا اندامی انجمنی پارسگا کانی ل بغاش کتله کی پارلمان تاری پیش کسیم لگال وزیره one person two person three person who are very very rich twenty thirty person the medium class and the rest consumer. The medium class could communicate between the top and the base and the consumers. Bottom. Now, according to this kind of new free market economy, without having culture of free market economy. In fact, if there's a clash between the Baghdad parliament and the Erbil parliament, on any matter that um, is outside of the exclusive competences of the federal government, Kurdistan law is supreme. It can strike down uh, a federal statute in the relevant area. So they've remade Iraq as a deeply decentralized federation. Now what does this mean in practice? In practice, they have achieved the goal of Mullah Mustafa Barzani, who famously led the Kurdish National Liberation Movement between 1945 and uh, up until his death in 1979. His platform was always autonomy for Kurdistan and democracy for Iraq. And for the time being, Kurds have achieved that. Now, of course, Iraq is by no means um, a perfectly functioning democracy. Nobody would pretend that. But it is a dramatic transformation from the regime of Saddam. There have been two federation-wide elections held. There have been three prime ministers removed as a result of the act of will of um, elected Iraqis. So we have um, an alternation in the executive, we have elected leaders being decisive, and we have uh, a meaningful form of Kurdish autonomy. This is a, a remarkable transformation. Traditionally, the two parties, the, the KDP and the PUK, have dominated the political scene in Kurdistan. There's always been a constellation of smaller parties that have varying ties to the two big parties. Sometimes they've split away from one of them, they rejoin, they, uh, th these things are, are common and we saw that after the elections in 1992. Um, and we see uh, different groupings of smaller parties around each of the main ones. Or we see uh, a new, well, a, a separate grouping of Islamist parties as well. Um, but I still think it's clear that the KDP and the PUK dominate the political life of the Kurdistan region. Um, again, we have to, I think, look at the, the comparisons to su successor states in the Soviet Union, to states that are transiting from authoritarianism to democracy, um, and this is part of a, a process. It's, it, will, it is an interesting question to ask whether these parties will relinquish the levels of power uh, to, that they have to such an extent that they may not hold power in the future. Many people don't think they can do that. Um, but again, we're in a, a transitory moment right now. Um, and arguably, I, it, uh, some, uh, certainly the Kurdish leadership of the KDP and PUK would say that it's in, Iraq, in, in the Kurds' interest to maintain their political system as it is while Iraq is in the position that it's in at this moment. Well, you don't need a weak party representing you in Baghdad. Again, this ties into the whole corruption. Which is an issue that I have now. The mafia is very famous. In the first stage, the mafia federal is a part of Iraq that is under the control of the government. But I am not the only one. 
تکنولوژیان لولات کی گرتو دا وکو خزان وای یا خزانه کی بختور که هم موافقان یان هیا یا اچن بردم بردم قاضی طلاق ورگر اگر لا عراق استا خلق تقدیر و تگیشتنی هبی بو گلی کورد که زور امتحان قرص کرا ولی را بردو داو بحرک خوینی داو ولی پیناوی گیشتن بمرو آزاد کردنی عراق لا دکتاتوری چوکو صدام حسین ببینی که ایشکانی نارو که همان سیاستی را بردو لگلی دانوی همو مارس هب کن او بدلنیایی و پیکوژی هم ممکن نه جاره من با شخصی و مندامی انجومنی گشتی بزوتنو رفراندوم لکردوستان که لدو سال را بردو شایما رفراندومی که نه رسمی من کرد لسیوی که دوانزه دوزار و پینجا هاوکاد لگل هاو بجاد نکانه من اندامی لجنه بالای او رفراندوم بوم با اندامی او وفدج بوم کچون بولا انجومنی حکم بنای او بزوتنو ها و ملیونی که حوصله هزاری دام امضا ما کوکر دو زیاد ل ملیونی که حوصله دو امضا ل صار نو هشت ول ده هشتی او خلقی بجداری کرد و دعای سر به خوبونی کردستان و جوانای لعراق کرد و من با شخصی خوش میگه که ملوانی که اگر بیت و بارودخی نوشکا گنجاو بیه و اگر خون رجی جوری لی نکه و تو رزامدیه به چهار سر ریشه ای که شیک کرد لاست دولتی سر به خوی کردی آبین ما اما اما کوی اگر توی اسلامی کردستانش پیمانوای لام قناعه فدرالیت لقل بونی دموکراسی و بون نبونی دا صلاته کی مذهبی یا قومی لعراقا اکره لانی کمی چار سری کشه کرد که لروی مبدعیه و ما دولتی کردی بما فکر روی نتوی کرد زانین مثلا مرحله یا فدرالیزم بدروش میکی واقعی زانین با چار سری کرد نکن لپارچه یا بلکو لپارچه کانی تری کردو سانش Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything particularly worrying about most Kurds saying they want to be independent. You'd probably get a pretty similar answer from any region in the United Kingdom. Or uh, it, it's it's a, an ethno-nationalist dream of many people to, to have an independent status for their people. Um, there are some observers that think the Kurds made a mistake, that the Kurdish leaders should have taken advantage of the... Um, confusion of the immediate post-2003 period and declared independence. The Kurdish leadership seems to think that it made the... Lana hukmati Iraq taza dawri hai Saroj Komar Kurda Waziri Darawa Kurda Zegiri Saroj Anjumani Waziran Kurda Zegiri Saroj Parlaman Kurda Saroj Arkani Supai Iraq Kurda برای بری گشتی استخباراتی عسکری عراق کرده و چند وزیر چتریشی هی لوکو صناعه و اقتصادی او بلدیات و حتی اخیری امانه وزیری کردن برام کرد لگل جمعریگ لحظابی تر تحالفاتی هی مثلا لگل حزبی اسلامی عراق لقل كسون حزبي سنية لقل حزبي دعوة لقل مجلس إسلامي أعلى أمانة بيك ولا زور مسألة دا رأي دا وإما أو فريقيك لبغداها مانا جروبي كردي بارتي بيا يكتي بي وكو يك فريق إيشاكا لبرلمان وكو يك فريق إيشاكا لحكمتي وكو يك فريق إيشاكا بناوي كردستان أليانس تحالف كردستاني همو حزب کانی تدا بر آمو کف یک فرقی شکم ولی هریمی کردستانی جامعه را تقریبا و کف یک فرق ل تواتی حکمتی هریم ایشکی دتوانن بلین ل عراق اما ل حدودی بیست بیست یک ل صدی دسالات من هی ل هریمی کردستانی عراق قو همو دسالاتی کردیا هشت ل صدی بوی چتیو پارتیا ل هشت ل صدا چل صدی هی چتیو چل صدی پارتی as all for Iraq, uh, what happened, it was not uh, expected. Yeah, we believe that uh, changing the regime which was going to be uh, to be so easy and to, we are going to get our freedom in, in an easy way. But what happened, uh, really, it was uh, a shock 
because uh, the uh, terrorists and Al Qaeda, especially, uh, they destroyed everything here in Iraq. Uh, until now, the situation is not uh, so perfect, but it's a matter of time, of course. Uh, everything is going to be okay. Uh, and uh, we, as a Christian minority, as Syrians as a Christian minority, we suffered uh, in double what happens for all Iraqis and what, what was programmed against us. It was done by, for example, bombing the, our church, killing our priests and bishops. It's something uh, organized. It's not something happening by chance. Of free market and the bilateral relations between Iraq, especially Kurdistan, neighboring countries, how to control quality-wise, quantity-wise, uh, and the partner between some of the smugglers and politicians, smugglers and the member of government. Uh, now we have more than uh, 15 to 20 percent very rich people, no more medium class, and the rest, all of them are bottom or consumers. Therefore, if you see everywhere, you see they shout, they ride against uh, corruption. We know that and we have created uh, last time a commission to follow this issue, how to bring uh, the uh, socio-economical relationship in, in, in order uh, and a new creation of the medium class and what's the function of the medium class in our society. You have patriotic medium class and you have uh, medium class they smuggled or they, they, they are against the interests of the of the of the economy uh, and we have also some of the examples uh, near us for example uh, we see the situation in Palestine and now Hamas is on the power and they won in, in the election why because the corruption among the uh, Fatah and the moderate groups they couldn't control the situation. They, uh, they, they got more and more money, and how they spent it, no one knows. It. Uh, if we are not ready to take care about this issue, maybe we will face with our Hamas also. Always, what's shown in the TVs in the media is the is the negative part of what's happening in Iraq as all. Well. Uh, you know, the situation in Iraq, although there are too many uh, terrorist things happening, but in the same way, in parallel, uh, the uh, developments is going uh, step by step and, and forward. Yeah, uh, but uh, the region, the Kurdistan region, really is other part of it. It's the other Iraq. Because here, you know, the security uh, uh, is very good. Uh, although, maybe during one year or during two years, sometimes some some problems uh, are going to happen. This is ordinary uh, comparing to to what's going on in in uh, most Iraqi cities. <laughs> زیاد از 6 میلیون کس کشور در اروپا ایمش با مرحله دارویشتن. او آن همو از باب بینه که اما هنگامی از دیمان هایش بی برای مؤسسات. تو اگر هر ولایت یک مؤسسات حکم کرد مؤسسات، او ولایت عدالتی زور تعداد بی کم کری کم تر تعداد بی. موضوع که نسبیه یعنی مطلق نیه برای کردستان کرپشن یعنی گندالی آن دزوره که همش تشیب زیر کلی نه لکردستان ایشی زور باش کرایا ایشی زور باش کرایا بلام او زروفانه که باسم کرد سبب اونه لوی که هند خلل هایی بلام دکری بله این سال با سال وضع کن زور برای باش تر دستی تو که ما سه سال صدام رقایه دهه تجی ثابت من لب دهه و اما سه سال لنا و خوش من حکمت چی مشترک من تیک نه پیشتر دو حکمت هایی دو اداره هایی کوتاه دکری برای تقييم کردستان اصل اوسی ساله دکری، اوسی سر ساله رخانی صدام، اوسی سر ساله که اما پیکوا یک اداره من هیلگر یشتی ولگر احزاب کانیتر. 
و استا حکمت یهرمی کردستان به تابتی جنابی سرگوارزانی زور به زدی خریکه که او کم کوریانه کم بکاته و استا لپرلمانی کردستان میزانیا دخوین ریته و ابوابکان تقسیم دکره و استا وزارتی تختید و اوصال به توابی اجداکاتن لب و اوی تختید لب و او دهات داد نیک دیت کردستان و استا قانون رقابه در چل کردستان قانون رقابه و تفعيل دور الرقابة جدكلة لكردستان مجموعة خطواتك هي طبيعي لبو أويك أو كمكورياني كهيا كم تربك ريتها وبلام إشي جوري باشي زور كلا يعني مثلا وضع اقتصادي خلش كردستان زور باش ولا تساو بيشتر يكتين اجتماعي كردستان بروي با سيستمي برلماني هي ولا عراقي بروي با سيستمي فدرالي هي لا برای بوهه کرجم کل بغداد و نبی آور جمل لبابت رجمی صدام حسین به لمرکس همش تقرار بده یکس قرار بده و به بی جوی دان نازو کن بوی دیوی لپروسی بریار ولیتن دیسیژن تاکینگ میجرز برای همو اقلیم کان ورگری و حمله آشتی و حمله شر پیوسته همو لعج لعراق بج دالي كنك بريار بدريو امر بكري خلق تجهازي تنفيذي بو بريار كاني لا ناوت يعني لا مركز لا مركزي كرني دا صلات دا صلات بس همو ناوت كان دا دابل او رويتي تن اجتماعي كردستان لناو لهريمي كردستان العراق صدا بنجاي دا صلاتي هي دولتي كردي بما فيك الراي نتو كردستان بس لما مرحله يا فدراليزم بدروش ميكي واقعي زانين بو چارستاني كرد نكن لمبارجة بالكو لمبارجة كاني تري كردوستانيش Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's anything particularly worrying about most Kurds saying they want to be independent you probably get a pretty similar answer from any region in the United Kingdom or it's an ethno-nationalist dream of many people to have an independent status for their people there are some observers that think the Kurds made a mistake, that the Kurdish leaders should have taken advantage of the um, confusion of the immediate post-2003 period and declared independence. The Kurdish leadership seems to think that it made the right choices by wanting to uh, be seen as the, the good partners uh, in Iraq in assisting in the reconstruction of the post-Saddam state. Um, I think it was wise to err on the side of caution if they declared independence back in 2003. They would probably, I think, have seen the Turkish invasion very, very quickly and would probably have lost the support of the Americans as well. Um, the idea that you can be a Kurdistan region within a wider state, have access to greater resources, um, protection in a pretty hostile environment is an attractive one. The question is, can they really build that? Can they really develop an Iraq like that, and Iraq has never been like that in the past, can that develop in the future that has a, a vibrant, active, very autonomous Kurdistan region within it, and they have all the guarantees that they need uh, to exist there? That's going to be the question that has to be answered over the next few years, even months, I would say, with the upcoming um, problems on, on the disputed territories. Uh, بپی میساقی امم متحده که سال 1945 دروز با میساقی امم متحده دوای حرب عالمی دوم ل میساقی امم متحده لتن خالق لتن بندگ باسی ما فی تاریخ خونو سیند که سیل اف دیترمینیشن ما فی تاریخ خونو سیند یعنی هر ملتک حق خویتی وضعی مرکزی سیاسی خوی مرکزی اقتصادی خوی اختیار که ملتی کردیش با پی میساقی امام متحده و با پی همو مافکانی که لدنیا هی با پی مافکانی مراف حقی خویتی که کیانی خوی هوی دولتی خوی هوی خلچی کردستان اوی استعلا کردستان هی زور زور کم تره با براور لگر او تصحیح که ملتی کردیتی ملتی کرد شورشی کردیا، ملتی کرد خلق جزوری لکوچرای، ملتی کرد کیمیای برانبر بکار. گاکانی کرد استاد. دو وزیر نوزه اندامی انجمنی پارس گاکان. لبغاش کتله گی پارلمانتاری پنج کسیم لگل وزیره. 
the, the one person, two person, three person who are very, very rich. 20, 30 person, the medium class. And the rest, consumer. The medium class could communicate between the top and the base and the consumers. Bottom. Bottom. Now, according to this kind of new free market economy, without having culture of free market economy, without having the uh, law of free market, and the bilateral relations between Iraq, especially Kurdistan, neighboring countries, how to control quality-wise, quantity-wise, uh, and the partner between some of the smugglers and politicians, smugglers and the member of government. Uh, now we have more than uh, 15 to 20 percent very rich people, no more medium class, and the rest, all of them are bottom or consumers. Therefore, if you see everywhere, you see they shout, they ride against uh, corruption. We know that and we have created uh, last time a commission to follow this issue, how to bring uh, the uh, socio-economical relationship in, in, in order uh, and a new creation of the medium class and what's the function of the medium class in our society. You have patriotic medium class and you have uh, medium class they smuggle or they, they, they are against the interests of the, of the, of the economy. Uh, and we have also some of the examples uh, near us. For example, uh, we see the situation in Palestine and now Hamas is on the power and they won in, in the election. Why? Because the corruption among the uh, Fatah and the moderate groups, they couldn't control the situation. They, uh, they, they got more and more money and how they spent it no one knows that uh, if we are not ready to take care about this issue maybe we will face with our hamas also always what's shown in the tvs in the media is the it's the negative part of what's happening in iraq as well uh, you know the situation in iraq Although there are too many uh, terrorist things happening, but in the